All right, it is very warm for the middle of January, and usually when it's this warm, you know there are storms on the way. Temperature is already nearly 70 degrees as of 11 a.m. in Memphis, up to 67, 65 in Tunica, 68 right now in Clarksdale. We've still got those warm southerly winds coming in, gusting up to 21 miles an hour right now, and all of that is just going to help to fuel the storms that are coming in later today. Dry for the most part in Memphis and northeastern Mississippi, most of western Tennessee dry right now too. We do have a batch of showers and some thunderstorms over in eastern Arkansas from southern Mississippi County through Mark Tree down toward Cross County and when none of this is severe right now, but some good soaking rain and a couple of strikes of lightning out there as of lunchtime. Again, I don't expect that the severe weather threat is going to be too high until later on this afternoon into this evening with that second round of storms. That round of storms is going to come through a little closer to dinner time uh, and as you're starting to drive home from work later on today. We'll time it out hour by hour. It's picking up pretty well where the storms are right now, so we'll put it into motion and give you an idea of where this model thinks those storms are going to end up. So again, I think through most of the afternoon, we'll get a little bit of a break from the rain, but it's this line of storms we're going to be watching here through late afternoon into the evening. And it's going to start to roll into eastern Arkansas by about 4 p.m. Should be right on the Mississippi River close to 6. So if you drive home in the 6 o'clock hour in Memphis, that's when we're going to have those strongest storms rolling through. Storms continue in Memphis through about 7 and then eventually move off to the east by 8 or 9 o'clock, seeing some storms roll into Selmer and Corinth. And then we expect all of those storms to move out of here by 10 or 11 p.m. So we do have a risk for severe weather. It's a level 2 out of 5, so it's not that high, uh, but it's still kind of on the medium side. So we're going to watch that pretty carefully. Not every storm today is going to be severe, but for those storms that do turn severe, here's what you might be able to expect. Gusty winds in the storms up to 50 miles an hour. That can knock around some trees and power lines, of course. Small hail, not out of the question. And with that heavy rain, we could see some flooding on those streets for a period of time, so keep an eye on that. Tornado threat is low today, but a quick little spin up tornado not out of the question, and those quick little spin ups can still do some damage, even though uh, they just have winds of 70 to 80 miles an hour. Uh, not too strong tornadoes, but like I said, they can still cause some trouble, so we'll watch that. We want you to download that ABC 24 app. It is free for iPhone and Android, so you don't have an excuse. This way you can go about your day as normal, and if a storm approaches your neighborhood, we'll send you an alert right to your phone. It keeps tabs on your location. You can put an address in there, and if those storms are getting bad approaching your area, we'll let you know with an alert right to your phone. For today, though, those strong storms continue this afternoon into this evening. They'll be gone by 10 p.m. tonight. 55 tomorrow, much cooler with some sunshine. Cooler, even cooler on Friday, 51 for your high temperature. Saturday looking okay. More rain comes through Saturday night. That's going to last into Sunday morning. And then another round of rain on Tuesday. Luckily, those two rounds don't look severe, but keep that rain gear handy, Aaron.